In this video I'm going to show you how you can plot a straight line graph of the form y equals mx plus c. It'll also be used as the starting video for a mini series within the playlist on matplotlib and numpy and I would recommend that you watch all of the video even if you're very familiar with the plotting of graphs and in particular straight line graphs because I'll be using this video as the base for all of the videos that follow on showing you progressively better ways of drawing straight line graphs before we move on to more complex visual representations of a data set. In this video I'm going to consider the plotting of a straight line graph based upon the equation y equals 2x plus 1. The way in which we would manually produce a graph would be as follows. We choose a number of suitable values for x and I'm showing those here and we can see that x takes up the value of 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. The next thing I'm going to do is to continue with this table by working out what the value of 2x is for all the various values of x that you can see in front of you. So I'm now going to produce another row which you can see I've labelled 2x and here I've got 0 because 2 times this 0 gives 0, 2 times this 1 gives 2 and 2 times this 4 gives 8 and of course I'll let you work out that this 2 becomes 4 and this 3 becomes 6 because they both get multiplied by 2. If we look to the equation we can see here we have a plus 1. Consequently that plus 1 we can write down here and now what I wish to do is to add up this 0 to the 1 to give 1, this 2 to the 1 to give 3, this 4 to the 1 to give 5 and so on. In other words I'm working out this for all of the various values of x and of course we can see this is labelled y. So I'm going to put in this row y here and we can see y takes up the values of 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Let's just choose this one here when x is 4 so this is 4 and 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9 and you can see that's what we get here. Let's consider this table and extract the coordinate positions. So let's move the table and I'm going to move it to the top corner and we're now going to consider the x and y coordinate positions extracted from the table. So we can see I'm looking for the plotting points. I'm looking for what x comma y is. Let's have a look at the first one. It's 0, 1. Now why is this the case? Because here you can see when x is 0, y is 1. The next thing we can move along to is this. When x is 1, y is 3. So that would be 1, 3, as we can see here. Moving along, we can see that this is when x is 2, we have y is 5. So we can look and we have 2, 5. Carrying on, we can see that this is 3 and this is 7, so it's 3, 7. So there you can see we have 3, 7 for the coordinate position for one of the plotting points. And here we've got 4 and 9 and there you can see we have 4 comma 9 the x and the y respectively having extracted the plotting points let's move them to one side and have a look at how we now draw the graph so here you can see i'm moving the points to one side and now i need to consider the x values and these are the x values here from 0 all the way through to 4 so I need to consider my x-axis for the graph and the x-axis will go in this direction and I need to mark it off from 0 all the way up to 4 as you can see here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and they are equally spaced. I now can move on to look at the y-values and you can see that they go from 1 through to 9. So I now need to consider the y-axis which is shown here and of course now you can see I'm marking those off appropriately. So I now have from the plotting points the axis worked out correctly 
in order for me to plot the graph given by these plotting points. If we consider this plotting point first, we know that when x is 0, which is here, and we go up to where y is 1, which is here. So we can now plot a position at the tip of this arrow, and I'm showing that by this bouncing dotted line coming in here. So that's my first plot from the plotting point I've been given. Let's now move on to this one, 1, 3. Now to achieve the point where this is, I'm going to draw a dotted line up from the 1 on the x-axis, and I'm going to draw a dotted line across from where we have the 3. And where they intersect, we will draw a plotting point. I'll now go on to this one, which is 2, 5. So I'll go up from the 2, I'll come across from the 5, and we'll put a plotting point there. Carrying on to the 3, 7, you can see there's the dotted line for the 3, there's the dotted line for the 7. Where they cross each other, we put the plotting point, and then finally we got 4, 9. So I'll put a dotted line coming up from the 4, and I'll come across from the 9, and that's where I will have the plotting point. The next thing I need to do is to join these dots together. Now I am aware that this is a straight line graph because I could tell from the formula it was of the form y equals mx plus c. So I will now join together these dots with a straight line. Now bearing in mind they won't always be a straight line when you plot graphs, but in this case they are. So I would look to see where the straight line would go and you can see I've managed to draw it through all of the plotting points. Now I'm going to get rid of those plotting points on the dotted lines. That was just for my benefit when I was drawing the graph and to illustrate it on the slide more easily I put those in. What I'll do now however, I'll remove those as you can see. And what we have here, we have the straight line graph given by these plotting points. And this is a straight line graph for the equation y equals 2x plus 1. And as I've already said, the generalized equation for a straight line graph is shown here, y equals mx plus c. And m is the slope of the graph, how steep it is, and c is a constant. Now in the case of this, the slope is 2, and the 1, well, that's where it crosses the y-axis, which you can see here, is at position 1. And that's when x is 0. When x is 0, you see where the line crosses the axis, and that's the constant. Now we'll come on to look at more details with respect to a straight line graph as we move through the series of videos. What we need to do now is to label the axis. And you can see I'm labeling with x here, and I'm labeling with y there. So that's kind of typically how you would expect a graph to look, and you can see how I've plotted it. And of course I've done it on these slides, but naturally I would most probably do it on a piece of paper if I was going to manually do it on a piece of graph paper. But of course this series is about how we can use Python and the various libraries to help us draw these graphs. But for this video and the ones coming up, I'm going to base everything on this straight line graph here, this equation y equals 2x plus 1, where we introduce some of the features of building graphs using matplotlib and numpy, such as how do we change the color, how do we label the axis. We'll not complicate matters with a complex graph, we'll just get familiar with producing graphs of various looks before we move on to more complex visualizations. In this video, I've shown how we can produce this table to give us the various values of x and y for the equation y equals 2x plus 1. Now, if I was to do this manually and then say, well, how do I get the values of x and y into a Python program? What I would do is I would produce Python lists. Of course, I've discussed in the previous video why we shouldn't use lists, but I am going to introduce them here because I want to ensure that we can move forward with a proper understanding of straight line graphs. So if I was going to represent x in Python with a list, you would do it as shown here. x 
is assigned, you can see I've used the square brackets and inside I've got 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. If I was going to represent the Y, I would also use that with a list, as you can see here, and I've put in the values of 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Now, I'm putting these in as literal values. In other words, I've done the calculations myself, so I know what the X and the Y need to be. Of course, I would not normally do this. I would get the program to actually give me the appropriate values of X and calculate the appropriate values of Y. So let's consider the following Python program. And you can see that I've imported matplotlib.pyplot as PLT. And if we look at these here, the X and the Y, which I took the values from the table, you can see in my code I've put X equals the list 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and Y is the list 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And just to show what we get when we do this in the code, I'm going to print X and I'm going to print Y. And then, of course, I'm going to plot X and Y and show the plot. So let's move on and see what we get. And what we will get is this. And you can see that this line has output this, which indeed is the Python list that was created on this line. This prints y, which is this, which we can see was the Python list created on this line. And of course, this produces the plot where we pass in x and y. And this will show the figure that you can see here. And there is our straight line graph. In this video I've shown you how you can plot x and y from literal values of x and y that I have entered as the programmer from previous calculations that I've done on a bit of paper. What I'm going to show you in the videos that are coming up, better ways of drawing the graph y equals 2x plus 1. And I'm going to show you how you can do it using Python lists. And then I'm going to show you how you can do it using NumPy arrays and comparing both. So at the end of this mini series within the playlist, you should see the power of NumPy arrays for manipulating numbers compared to Python lists. So the ones coming up will show you how we can generate the necessary plots using Python lists and then we're going to show, if you like, the most sophisticated way using NumPy. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.